Today we're going to take a look at the insides and all the electronics and the workings of this 2021 Firefly FFLP Classic. Kind of Gibson type logo there. It's got the two humbuckers, the four controls, and uh, looks like a veneer, probably a top flamed. We're going to take a look at the insides of it. How about that? I've been gigging with this guitar actually. I've done three gigs with it and I thought about changing some things on it but I actually like it the way it is. I really do. So well, let's take a look at it. Let's tear it apart. All right I'm going to check out the homage of the pickups now to see the strength of them, the output. I have it in the neck position on the rhythm on the thing and it's 7.5 so the neck pickup is 7.5 K ohms flip it over to the bridge and it's 9.3 so it's it's a pretty good range pretty good range um, classic Gibson area range 9.3 on the bridge pickup and let's go to the middle see what it does in the middle it drops down to 4.2 that's why the middle position never sounds good it's always lower homage but we got 9.3 on the bridge pickup which is very respectable and the rhythm pickup 7.5 yeah that's it's that's it's a good range good vintage range all right let's tear some part now the back of this guitar is extremely gorgeous, beautiful. Got a beautiful grain in the wood. I got the back cover loose. And this is what it is inside. It has full size pots. Orange caps, decent wiring. There's where the pickups come through the body. got some kind of a black black paint on it ah here's the insides of the control cavity that's what we have right there all right let's go on let's do the big reveal of the switch it has big pots, so let's see if this switch is. It's got a good quality looking switch. It's it's not one of the regular cheap ones you see in these Chinese guitars. It's actually a fairly quality switch. It also has that black paint in it. I don't know if it's shielding paint or not, maybe. It may be shielding paint. The wiring looks to be okay. I've seen a lot worse. Alright, let's go on. All right, here's the back of the headstock. There's the tuning keys. They are of pretty good quality. They do hold tune okay. Uh, the, the strings are not very good on it, so I'm going to change the strings and have a go. But that's what we have. Right there, that's the back of the headstock. All right, let's go on. Before I tear the pickups out and look at the inside of it, I thought I'd show you all the frets and the nut. The nut's cut pretty good. It's pretty well. The frets are really nice. The fret ends, though they're not perfect, they're not bad. They're not rough. I mean, it's smooth to play. There's the neck joint. I'm not a total perfectionist, so... But this is nice. It's not glue globbed everywhere. Then over here we have the tunematic bridge. It's fairly good quality. This is the higher model. The, the standard model is like $30 less. Yeah, this is the classic. Well, let's take these pickups out and let's have a look at them. Now before I pull out the pickups, I thought it'd be interesting to look at the studs and the thumb wheels 
of the Tunematic Bridge. There they are. And this here is the Tunematic part. And then the stop piece. That's what that's all about. Now the pickups. First, let's look at the bridge pickup and the bridge cavity. The standard with the B on it for standard for bridge. Black wiring. Remember, this is the 9.3K ohms. Now, it's hard to tell for me with that black shielding paint in there. If it has what kind of wood it is or the top. That's what it is. Alright, now let's pull the base pickup out. Neck pickup. I have the bridge pickup back in and I got the neck pickup loose. See how easy it is to get it out of here. There it comes out. And has the end for neck. This is the 7.5k ohms. I'm going to get a flashlight and take a better look at this. Alright, I got a flashlight. Take a look at this cavity a little bit better. That's what it is. Two on the shielding paint. It's definitely got a cap. Probably in a veneer on top. That's how it's cut out. The neck the channel for the neck pickup right there Let's see what this looks like over here there that's where the pickup goes painting it does look to have a cap on it the rest all veneer I can't tell what the wood is. That's the inside of it there. Alright, I'm going to put it back together and string it up and check it out. Mm-hmm. 